Hi guys, welcome to the Healthcare Channel. Today's video we will talk about symptoms, causes, risk factors, and how to prevent schizophrenia. Overview. Schizophrenia may be a serious mental disturbance during which people interpret reality abnormally. Schizophrenia may end in some combination of hallucinations, delusions, and very disordered thinking and behavior that impairs daily functioning, and may be disabling. People with schizophrenia require lifelong treatment. Early treatment may help get symptoms in check before serious complications develop and should help improve the long-term outlook. Symptoms. Schizophrenia involves a variety of problems with thinking, cognition, behavior, and emotions. Signs and symptoms may vary, but usually involve delusions, hallucinations, or disorganized speech, and reflect an impaired ability to function. Symptoms may include, 1. Delusions. These are false beliefs that aren't based actually. For instance, you think that, that you're being harmed or harassed, certain gestures or comments are directed at you, you've got exceptional ability or fame, another person is crazy with you, or a serious catastrophe is close to occurring. Delusions occur in most people with schizophrenia. 2. Hallucinations. These usually involve seeing or hearing things that do not exist. Yet for the person with schizophrenia, they need the complete force and impact of a traditional experience. Hallucinations are often in any of the senses, but hearing voices is that the commonest hallucination. 3. Disorganized thinking, speech. Disorganized thinking is inferred from disorganized speech. Effective communication is often impaired, and answers to questions could also be partially or completely unrelated. Rarely, speech may include producing meaningless words that cannot be understood, sometimes referred to as incoherence. 4. Extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behavior. This might show during a number of the way, from childlike silliness to unpredictable agitation. Behavior isn't focused on a goal, so it's hard to try to tasks. Behavior can include resistance to instructions, inappropriate or bizarre posture, an entire lack of response, or useless and excessive movement. 5. Negative symptoms. This refers to reduced or lack of ability to function normally. For instance, the person may neglect personal hygiene or appear to lack emotion, doesn't make eye contact, doesn't change facial expressions or speaks during a monotone. Also, the person may lose interest in everyday activities, socially withdraw, or lack the power to experience a pleasure. Symptoms can vary in type and severity over time, with periods of worsening and remission of symptoms. Some symptoms may always be present. In men, schizophrenia symptoms typically start within the early to mid-twenties. In women, symptoms typically begin within the late 20s. It's uncommon for youngsters to be diagnosed with schizophrenia and rare for those older than age 45. Symptoms in teenagers. Schizophrenia symptoms in teenagers are almost like those in adults, but the condition could also be harder to acknowledge. This might be partly because a number of the first symptoms of schizophrenia in teenagers are common for typical development during teen years, such as 1. Withdrawal from friends and family. 2. A drop by a performance at college. 3. Trouble sleeping. 4. Irritability or depressed mood. 5. Lack of motivation. Also, recreational substance use, like marijuana, methamphetamines, or LSD, can sometimes cause similar signs and symptoms. Compared with schizophrenia symptoms in adults, teens may be 1. Less likely to possess delusions. 2. More likely to possess visual hallucinations. When to ascertain a doctor. People with schizophrenia often lack awareness that their difficulties stem from a mental disturbance that needs medical attention. So it often falls to family or friends to urge them to help. Helping someone who may have schizophrenia. If you think that someone you recognize may have symptoms of schizophrenia, ask him or her about your concerns. Although you cannot force someone to hunt professional help, you'll offer encouragement and support and help your beloved find a professional doctor or psychological state professional. If your beloved poses a danger to self or others or can't provide his or her own food, clothing, or shelter, you'll get to call 911 or other emergency responders for help in order. That your beloved is often evaluated by a psychological state professional. In some cases, emergency hospitalization could also be needed. Lawson and involuntary commitment to psychological state treatment vary by state. You'll contact community psychological state agencies or police departments in your area for details. Suicidal thoughts and behavior. Suicidal thoughts and behavior are common among people with schizophrenia. 
If you've got a beloved who is in peril of attempting suicide or has made a suicide attempt, confirm someone stays there upon person. Call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Or, if you think that you'll do so safely, take the person to the closest hospital er. Causes. It's not known what causes schizophrenia, but researchers believe that a mixture of genetics, brain chemistry, and therefore the environment contributes to the event of the disorder. Problems with certain present brain chemicals, including neurotransmitters called dopamine and glutamate, may contribute to schizophrenia. Neuroimaging studies show differences within the brain structure and central systema nervosum of individuals with schizophrenia. While researchers aren't certain about the importance of those changes, they indicate that schizophrenia may be a brain disorder. Risk factors. Although the precise explanation for schizophrenia isn't known, certain factors seem to extend the danger of developing or triggering schizophrenia, including 1. Having a case history of schizophrenia. 2. Some pregnancy and birth complications, like malnutrition or exposure to toxins or viruses which will impact brain development. 3. Taking mind-altering, psychoactive or psychotropic drugs during teen years and young adulthood. Complications. Left untreated, schizophrenia may result in severe problems that affect every area of life. Complications that schizophrenia may cause or be related to include, 1. Suicide, suicide attempts, and thoughts of suicide. 2. Anxiety disorders and obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. 3. Depression. 4. Abuse of alcohol or other drugs, including nicotine. 5. Inability to figure or attend school. 6 financial problems and homelessness. 7. Social isolation. 8. Health and medical problems. 9. Being victimized. 10. Aggressive behavior, although it's uncommon. Prevention. There are no sure thanks for preventing schizophrenia, but sticking with the treatment plan can help prevent relapses or worsening of symptoms. Additionally, researchers hope that learning more about risk factors for schizophrenia may cause earlier diagnosis and treatment. In our next video, we will talk about diagnosis, treatment, and how to cope with schizophrenia. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to form life easier.